now. Some would say love is strange, Adam. Well, with it being February, is it really in the air, Molly? <laughs> well, <laughs> let's, let's find out with David. So, David, with it being February and Valentine's Day, when was this film released? Well, this, um, this film was released last Friday, so it was like the day before Valentine's Day, so I suppose, you know, it's straight there as um, some alternative film for people to see. And what's it all about? Is it strange or...? Um, well, the film itself isn't strange, but, you know, it's like Love is Strange. It stars um, Alfred Molina and John Lithgow as a um, gay couple who've been together for almost 40 years and due to sort of recent um, state legislation, they can now get married, so they decide to do that. But unfortunately, the news of their marriage causes Alfred Molina to lose his job as a music teacher at a Catholic school, so they can no longer afford their rent, so they have to go and each stay with different family members, so they have to then stay apart. So, you know, it's all about, you know, sometimes love throws you in these strange situations. So what are the reviews? Have they been good, Mick? Um, yeah, a lot of people are really enjoying this. You know, the people that have gone to see it, it is, it's a really strong film. I think it's a really sweet film. You know, we've seen a lot of biopics in the race and, you know, race up to the awards season. But this feels a lot more genuine than them. You know, this feels like it's really focusing on real people and sort of their um, struggles through love and just through life in general. I haven't heard of the film myself, so why, where can you find the film? Where can um, you watch it? Unfortunately, it's it's not it's a very small film in terms of budget. So likewise, the marketing has been pretty small. So it's you look at it, your independent cinemas. But I really, if you can find one, you know, the Corner House of Manchester, for example, I would go and see it because it's something worth seeing. And what are the highlights of the film? Um, just its um, genuineness. You know, it's a really sort of good um, romance. You know, you get a lot of average stuff from Hollywood in the romance genre that sometimes patronises its audience, but this is really sincere. I think it's something that everyone can relate to, really. Yeah, um, so are there any well-known actresses, actors that we, we will know? Um, well, Marisa Tomei, she won the um, um, Oscar a few years ago, but it's more, it's people that you would recognise the faces of more than names that you would recognise per se. So how would you sum the film up in three words, David? A really charming film that I think is really accessible to everyone and everyone should make the time to go and see. Well, that's more than three words. Thank you. Back to you, Adam. Thank you.